pretty terrible drive. Probably lost that ball, and if I had found it, it's not going to have gone particularly far and I'm going to struggle to get to the fairway. What about if I told you that I could eradicate that shot from your game with one pretty simple group change? So safe to say that was a pretty terrible tee shot. That ball's gone a long way right. It didn't go particularly far and I'm probably going to need all of my playing partners to help me try and find that golf ball and even then I think I might struggle. So probably a lost ball. So why did that happen? Well, the reason I hit that shot is because I made one adjustment to my grip and so many other things changed and obviously the ball flight was pretty poor. So we're going to show with you and share with you what that grip change was and show you how you can eradicate that shot from your game. We're also going to use Trapman to help us as well. So before we get started, love you to get involved, drop down in the comments below. Let me know, is that a shot that you struggle with? Or if it isn't, there's probably someone that you play with who struggles with that shot and this video could help either you or them. Also, if you do like that video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already. It is absolutely free. And if you just hit the little bell icon as well, it'll just mean you're notified each time I release a video. So let's quickly talk about that particular shot. You can see the ball flight there and you can see the numbers are on the right. Club path, it's saying is minus seven. So minus seven means that my club came from out to in by seven degrees. That's not really gonna get it done. That's what creates all of that curve and makes that ball go way off to the right. You will also notice that it says attack angle minus 6.7. So that tells me my club was traveling downwards into the ball by nearly seven degrees and we know that's a real way to rob yourself of distance. So, a pretty poor shot. And there was one reason why I hit that. And all I did to hit that shot, and it wasn't, that wasn't the shot I was trying to hit, I was just trying to make the best goal thing I could, was I changed where the grip was placed in my hand. All I did was I moved it from what I would call the fingers, and I moved it much more up through to the lifeline of the hand. That's pretty much all I did, and I took my grip from there. Now, when we look at that from the face on, what we tend to see with that grip is that the hand or the palm tends to sit very much underneath the golf club. So when I put my hand around, I can't see any of the knuckles on my hand, I can't see the logo on my glove. So there's two things that have changed there. Number one, my hand has gone more underneath the golf club, that's really, really common. And number two, the grip has gone more up through the lifeline, less through the fingers. So I made that one change and suddenly we get a ball which goes absolutely nowhere, carves way off to the right and it's a terrible drive. So why did that grip change change so much down at impact? Well, as soon as we place the hand or the grip through the hand in that way, it's almost inevitable that the club face is going to roll way too far open in the backswing. It's inevitable, we really can't get away from that. We can do a few things to combat it, but it's probably gonna get pretty open in the golf swing. So what happens when I get the club face really open, for me, is I sense that. I feel this ball is gonna go way off to the right, and it's probably gonna go way off to the right with curve. So if my ball is gonna curve way off to the right, it probably would make some sense that I try and swing the golf club as far to the left as I can, because at least if I swing the club to the left, it might sort of help it start there and then curve back towards the target. Didn't, as you can see, and it never will, but it's the kind of feelings we have. Now, as I start to swing left, I will also start to swing very much downwards. It's just the geometry of the swing and the way it works. So a golfer who swings left will likely swing down. So the fact that the path was so far left and the fact that I was hitting down on the golf ball was my way of trying to combat the fact that that face was really open. Now, it didn't work, but had I not done those things, that drive would have been even worse. It would have gone further to the right. So I kind of made the best of what I had, which clearly wasn't particularly good, and I didn't really do much of a job of getting it on the fairway, but I did what I had to do. So, if you slice the ball, if you hit the ball weak off to the right, you feel like you hit down on the ball, you cut across the ball, the golf club doesn't feel stable in your hands, there is a very, very, very good chance that you will be positioning the golf club incorrectly in your hand. So here's how you do it. What I'd love you to do is open up your glove hand and I want the grip to run from midway down the index finger. I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see. From midway down the index finger to the base of the little finger. And then I want to feel like I could close my fingers around the golf club. So this golf club now is held very much in my fingers. 
I'm now gonna put the pad of my hand on top of the grip and then place my thumb on the trail side of the handle. Now that grip feels completely different to me. It feels very much as if it's all in the fingers, which is what we want, because if you do fall into that first category, it's gonna be very much through the palm, it's gonna be a very different feeling. So middle of the index finger, base of the little finger, pad sits on top, thumb sits to the side. Now, what would I have you do? Well, you might have noticed from those close-ups that this is a relatively old glove, and that's for a reason. So what I would do for you is once you've got your hand in that place and you've you know, taken a little bit of time over that, take something like a Sharpie here, and if I open up my hand, I can just put a line either side of that grip, and suddenly what I've almost created here is a little training game for myself. I've got a golf club which now shows me exactly where the golf club needs to be each time. Once I place it in there, what we then said, once I've closed the fingers around, is I want the pad of the hand to sit on top of the handle. So again, what I could do is I could put a little circle here on the pad of my glove, and I wanna make sure that sits on top of the handle. So what I've effectively done now, I've taken my regular golf glove, which I use to hit all my shots, and I've turned it into something that can really help me place the golf in my hand correctly. What we have to understand here is club face is king. It rules everything. If you get that club face out of position in the backswing, you will make some movements that you don't want on the way down, trust me. What we're trying to do here is get the golf grip placed in the hand correctly, which will ultimately help you control the face. It would also give you the ability to create some leverage and some power. And then we can start to work on creating that better golf swing, that better motion, that one that's less out to win, but it has to start from the grip. And I guarantee if you hit those slice shots, there's a very good chance you're doing some of what we're talking about here. Make this change and you can instantly hit better shots because it is a quick fix. If you change where that club is in your hand, you will change where the club face is, you will change where the club face is at impact, the ball will do something different. It doesn't take you six months of practice. It might take a little bit of time to get comfortable with it, but it can be instant. Two lines and a dot is all that you need to turn your glove into a training aid. And then we should be able to see, with any luck, some different numbers coming through on Trackman. Now, I've got my checkpoints, spot is on the handle, club face now will be controlled and it'll allow me to hit, with any luck, a better golf shot. Okay, what did we see there? Well, we saw certainly a much straighter ball flight. We saw the attack angle now up by 3.8 degrees. We see the club path actually nearly seven degrees out to the right, which is great if I wanna draw the golf ball. And we see a ball speed of much higher, 165 miles an hour. And obviously that ball flight is much, much straighter. Now, I'm not saying you'll get this, but I guarantee you, if you're a slicer and you make a grip change, you will get some better shots. And that is exactly what we're trying to show you here. So never ever get that club running too high in the hand or never get the hand too much underneath the handle. Those are the two absolute killers when it comes to that lead hand grip. They will never give you good golf shots. They will never give you long golf shots and they will never give you consistent golf shots. We need to get it more in the fingers, the palm more on top, and you can start hitting some much better drives just like that one. Right, really hope that video helps you. We really hope there's some information that you can apply to your game straight away and help you perform better on the golf course. We'd love you to be part of my channel. Like we said, subscribe, link down below, and I'd love to see you back here again for a future video because I really believe these can help you unlock some better golf in your own game. Thanks for watching.